if all of you take your full multidimensional self and put it on the outside, put it on the shell of Gaia, and then whatever issues you might be having, put that in the middle. Put that right in the middle. And we will collect it all together in this violet light of transmutation. So from your place around the outside of Gaia, from being on the surface of Gaia, in all the different wonderful areas that you have grounded your physical presence, as you see yourself on that area, look into the middle, into the middle of this huge orb, and in the middle, we want you all to together imagine a brilliant violet fire of transmutation. And in between you and the fire of violet transmutation, see that beautiful pearly white pinkish color of unconditional love. So now we ask all of you, as you look into the center, which represents the center of your life, represents the center of this group, represents the center of this equinox, and represents the center of the planet Gaia. Now, feel how that pearly, pinkish, unconditional love is seeping into you, is seeping into the shell of Gaia, is flowing into your heart, is merging with your third eye. Feel yourself being unconditional love. And as you feel yourself being unconditional love, imagine all the components of your life that you love unconditionally. And all of you feel these simple things. Uh, sleeping in on Sunday morning, gardening in the yard, walking along the beach, petting your pet, playing with your children, talking with a friend, engaging in creative activity. Focus on all the parts of your life that you love unconditionally. Place your attention on all the places of your life that you love unconditionally. For where your attention is, there you are also. If you place your attention on what you love unconditionally, then you are absorbed in the process of being unconditional love. Therefore, you put out unconditional love. And because you put out unconditional love, the cause of law and effect means that you bring back unconditional love. We see you all now as circles of unconditional love. We see you all putting out unconditional love. And as you put it out, you know that it comes back, which gives you greater health, greater creativity, more ideas, higher states of consciousness, to put out more unconditional love. And when you bring it back, then you feel the healing for what you have given away. It returns back to you. The healing that you give comes back. The unconditional love that you give comes back. And now step in 
to that area of unconditional love. And all of the issues that are behind you from your physical self that is holding that presence on the surface of Gaia, all of the problems, issues, fears, denials, anything, put them all into the violet fire in the core of your circle. And with your unconditional love, you can reach back to your human self and take that bundle of that which has been perceived as a problem and then turn around and release it into the violet flame of transmutation. We're going to do this three times. So the first time, from being within this unconditional love, feel yourself fully grounded, fully being unconditional love. And turn around to your human self and see that part of yourself which is struggling. See that part of yourself which is having issues. And so first we're going to take the issues and just say, please, I love you unconditionally. Just give me all your issues. And take all of those issues and turn around and put them all in the violet fire to be transmuted. Now see those issues. Burn up in the violet fire. Now know that what is occurring now is within the now of the one. So it might take, quote, time before that occurs within your physical life. But if you hold the faith, if you remember you are a multidimensional being, you are a being of multidimensional consciousness. You are a being that holds unconditional love, that has taken your burden from you, from your perception of burden, because it's about your perception. Now we know that there are many that are starving, many that are ill, many that are in war torn areas. We know that. We are very aware of that. And we know that not many of them are able to come to this one. And if you are, then please join in with this. Because if you are here, you are saying to yourself, I have the ability to heal my life. And so as you take all that and you place it in the violent fire, you look back to that you that was once a human you, and you see how that you is merging with your multidimensional you. And as you merge with your multidimensional you, you remember when you decided to take an earth vessel within this now to assist the planet Gaia. And when you remember, you remember why you chose to place those issues in your life. Because you knew when you said, I volunteered to go to Earth to take a physical body and to assist Gaia with her transmutation into her fifth dimensional expression of her planetary being. You knew that you would have to clean up all of the effluvia that you had ever left in any past, parallel, alternate life you had ever had on any of your incarnations on Earth. Just as Suzel was explaining about there's this thing that happens in the deserts of the United States where they have this event called Burning Man. And it's out in the middle of the desert and they have a grand party and they wear costumes and make a huge 
man and they burn in the ceremony and they're laughing and talking and you can imagine that it's a complete mess. But they know that if they leave one footprint, they can't go back to that land again. So at the end of having that wonderful fun, and you know when you're in a group with a lot of people and you're having wonderful fun and you're having great support, that you have issues, you feel safe, and maybe you cry, and maybe you get sick, and maybe you have a fight with someone, and you go from this peak experience of, oh, we're all going to have this unity consciousness, and then you move into it, and then you begin to feel, wow, this feels kind of safe. I can wear any clothes I want to be, I can act any way I want to act, and oh, look at this part of me feels wounded, and I feel like I can share it, I feel like maybe I can heal it. And so you share it, and, and it's a beautiful moment, and people are all there. And if anyone has any kind of problem, they gather around and they help them. And then, in the end, they clean it all up. And that's what all of you are doing now. You are in this part, where this party is ending, and your consciousness is expanding enough that you can feel safe enough to release, to live out those fears so that you can look at them not as a trap, not as a burden, not as a mistake, but as an initiation. An initiation to the part of you that thought you had to have that problem. And as you heal that part of you, that problem begins to dissipate. Maybe not all at once, but slowly you begin to have these ahas of maybe if I just, or I think I can talk to, or I'm going to give it a little bit of time, or you know what, I'm not going to think about how this bothers me so much. I'm just going to be grateful for all the things that I really enjoy in my life. And do you see how that transition begins? bit by bit, stage by stage, minute by minute, person by person, neighborhood by neighborhood, country by country, hemisphere by hemisphere, until all of Gaia, all of Gaia is included within this sense of balance. The balance of the light and the dark and it isn't that the light is good and the dark is bad. The dark is the lesson and the light is the healing. And you respect the dark because as you heal yourself, as you release your own issues, you set forth a pattern of healing that is shared through everyone on the planet and you contribute it to that light. So feel that balance within yourself. Release all judgment that the dark is bad and the light is good. The dark is, the light is. Feel that you are You are the planet, and the planet is you. We thank you all for coming to this meeting, and we send you all unconditional love and violent fire.